Hey everybody, QuickTech here, and today I'm showing you how to unblock games, social media, and practically any website that you'll want on your school computer, because most of the time, they install an extension like this, securely for Chromebooks. That is my blocking system, but it can be practically anything. So I'm showing you three simple but very, very effective methods to do this. Nothing complicated, no downloads, it's all straight in your browser. So first off, we're going to be going to the Chrome extension page. So the thing is, my school blocks the Chrome extensions page. As you can see, it's it's the things block. But if I go on my personal account, you can see that I have a load of different extensions. So there are three buttons, details, move, and this weird on-off thing. So remove, if you really want to do this, I do not recommend it as you'll get busted super quickly. Remove it. It'll prompt you and you can remove. Details tells you like version, size, stuff like that. Then the third thing turns it on and off. So look up here. Look at this ad blocker. Now I'm going to turn it off. It's gone. And it got replaced by this and this moved in. So that basically turns it on and off and on and off and on and off. So say if I could do this on my school account and use and turn it off I could access any website I want. <coughs> Second way so if you're like me this is the most effective way so I put a link in the description for this website it's basically an IP address lookup so type in the website you want for me YouTube let's do YouTube copy it copy the IP address, the string of numbers and periods. So the IP, every domain name, like youtube.com, google.com, connects to one of these numbers. So enter th in the number, and you'll be led to the website. So I'm led to Google because YouTube is owned by Google, and they're run in the same servers. That's just a one-time thing, so yeah. I can do practically any website I want with this, so only problem is, is that if I go to the Google, it'll replace it with Google.com. So if it's a website that you that the teachers will block, like let's just say happywheels.com, that is an act isn't actually an IP name, that isn't their real IP name, but let's just say happywheels.com. It will keep it like this. It'll keep it the IP address. But a lot of times if I go to Yahoo.com, good example. Here's a bunch of more stuff for some weird reason. Oh, probably because it's run on multiple servers. Yeah, you might encounter that. Just copy any of them. Any of them will do. Copy it up. Sometimes that, that'll happen, which you can... It, the IP address will stay. Um, but yeah, sometimes it turns it into the domain, and that is not good. So the final method I'll be showing you today is quite simple. It requires no skill at all. So let's just say I want to access the Urban Dictionary. So I go to the Urban Dictionary. So okay, you see the link, you see the big text, then you see the green link. There's a green arrow to the right of the te of the link. Click it. You should see this, and then click on that. You will be led to this. This is Google's s snapshot of the page. It was last updated one day ago, believe it or not. Um, and you can see practically anything <laughs> you want. So only problem is that you cannot actually like do anything with the website. If you click on any links to any more pages, see this? It, this thing will change to urbanextrade.com, so you can't click on anything. Um, also works with other browsers, if I want to access the Urban Dictionary. Same arrow, it's not exactly the same, but you get the point. And then it's like the same exact thing, you get the point. Um, some websites um, are updated more than other websites. Like this one, if I go to the very top, 116. This is today. So, this, so Bing or Yahoo or whatever is updated more than Google. So, three ways 
I upload, so there are many different wa ways to do it. If I found like a game breaking way, I will upload a whole other video telling you guys about that and how to use it. But anyway, thanks for watching guys, have a nice day.